up you guys welcome back to the channel today we're uh just ended up snagging we're gonna be working on the galant the vr4 Let's see if i can keep this camera still jesse ended up snagging up an fp black baby he actually got a really good deal on this thing uh this thing's like brand new it's tight so got all the parts when he picked it up the guy had it sitting in a box of like uh packing peanuts so there was just peanuts shoved in everywhere. So end up disassembling it. So that way we can get all the parts out. Uh, we're gonna probably end up pulling this cover off just to double make sure that there's no packing nuts in here. Plus we're gonna have to clock the turbo and all that stuff. So anyways, as you guys seen in the last video, we got the Gallant fired up. It's running, but Jesse wanted an FP Black to go with this built engine. So he ended up uh, scoring a deal to where he sold the 16G for a good price, picked up the FP Black. So now he's over here and uh yeah we're gonna swap the turbo today and uh try to button this thing up might be a few parts that we have to order and get coming but for the majority of it we should have it all here so uh that's that's the plan for today everything else is pretty good once we get the turbo swapped got to bleed a clutch lift the brakes do some uh a little bit of tuning maybe a little fabrication with the downpipe but uh we got our kind of got our work cut out for us today but be able to knock it out the weather's great too it's cloudy overcast it's not hot it's like a high of 84 so uh yeah hope you guys enjoy the video and uh what's up time lapse time gsd All right, old turbo off. New turbo getting bolted together to get swapped on. Uh, we just had to swap, swap the oil return adapter, uh, getting the O2 housing bolted on. Jesse's getting this one kind of set up for, uh, for him to ship out. Ship her out. Ship her out to the seller. Uh, I always use this copper, like anti stuff on this exhaust shit. So that way when you go to pull it apart, you're not breaking bolts and stripping threads. So. We got a nice little hole over here in the Gallant for this turbo to get tossed into. So nice hole. We had some studs come out on us when we were pulling it apart, but I got those. I, I used a uh, Loctite and everything. I don't know why they popped out. So, but anyways, got them Loctited back in and letting those set up real quick. Just getting the turbo set up to uh, drop in. And then, uh, yeah, drop it in, hook it up. So making good progress. Check back in here in a little bit.
right, so as you guys have seen, probably in the time lapse, so we've had the turbo in and out like 50 times. So with the way we're trying to clock the compressor housing, right here on the water pipe, this is a pretty common thing you have to do once you kind of go bigger turbos on DSM. Just had to dent that in a little bit. And Jesse's got the turbo we're gonna slap in, hopefully maybe for like the second to final time. <laughs> four or five already. Yeah, so it's just uh, having to do a little bit of fabrication work when you go a little bit bigger turbo than a 16G. So uh, just knocking it out, doing what we can do. So back to the time lapse. All right, well, something's done, something's not done. So uh, Jesse just rolled out. He's gotta go play uh, daddy duty, go pick up his first firstborn from the daycare. Uh, his mom was at home with the newborn. But uh, Galant's all closed up for the day. Uh, we got the intercooler, or intercooler. Yeah, we got intercooler piping and stuff to make. It's just, it's just kind of sitting. Now you guys have seen the engine bake quite a few times now. We got it all locked up and stuff. But uh so turbo's bolted up partially. But we had to order some parts because with this being a gallant, it's not a traditional kind of intercooler setup like it is on the one G's. So we had to order some parts for that. Uh the FP black that he ordered came with an O2 housing that's got a B band flange on the bottom of it. Uh, this had the stock factory. Oh, uh, downpipe, two bolt, two and a half inch flange. So we gotta get that ordered. We'll hack off that two and a half inch. Two bolt flange, weld on a V-band flange. Uh, gotta make an intake. So anyways, pretty much got everything ordered. So it should end up being here in a couple days and then we'll continue to uh, make progress on the thing. So, you know, we had it to the running point. It was almost ready to ship, but Jesse was ending up scoring this FP Black sooner than we thought. Sold the 16G way sooner than we thought. So uh, pretty much kind of tore stuff back apart. Got to do a little bit of fab work, but it's fine. I enjoy doing it, enjoy working on the car. So again, it's probably gonna be it for this video, you guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend, all that stuff. Nesfab, GSD, see you guys on the next one.